are Emma, Sean, Rex and Maggie. Join us as we explore the UK and beyond in our old motorhome Rene. Having a lazy day today. Yeah, tired. Wore myself out yesterday on my bike. I never had a walk, big long walk with the dog, so we're having a bit of a rest day today. So we've just been to the shop and bought some um, breakfast, naughty breakfast. Go on, get yours out. I want to see your face when you get it out of the bag. I don't know what it is. Emma went in, so this is a surprise. It's not a surprise. <laughs> oh, wow, look at that. Now that is a pan of raisin. It's nearly as big as the plate. Look, it's as big as my hand. <laughs> That'll keep me going for a few uh, hours. A few hours. Okay. Nice. you got to get mine out now as well. Oh. You've got the, got the jackpots. Look at them. <laughs> <laughs> They're big boys, aren't they? Look at the size of that! Nice. Better be nice. Yeah, they better be. Well, they better not be, otherwise we'll be having them every day and we won't <laughs> be losing any weight with doing that. No. We put enough on in there at the beach. Go and hold it up to your face. It's about as big as your head. No, put it to the side so I can see. It is literally about as big as your head. Nice. Right, I'm going to take a picture of you now. Hang on. So this afternoon, I'm going to go for my first ever spa experience. Balnea was the first thermal water relaxation complex in the French Pyrenees. With five themed bathing areas, each with their own unique decor, some inside, some outside, all with varying features to awaken the senses, invoke calm and relaxation and all in the tranquil setting overlooking the mountains. With whirlpool bars, jacuzzis, hydro massage jets, saunas, steam rooms, a cold plunge pool, and an underwater musical bath, it really is a treat for the senses. The complex also provides a huge list of treatments, including massage, facials, and body scrubs. It also has a restaurant and a shop. or take photos in this place so unfortunately I'll have to tell you about it later well that's my two hours in the spa here in Nudenville um, it was awesome yeah I could have stayed longer shame they wouldn't let me uh, take any photos or video or anything because um, it's quite an experience um, well worth the 19 euros I paid for two hours um, yeah no it's brilliant definitely if you're coming to here then I definitely recommend a couple of hours spent in there is not wasted at all I feel really relaxed now um, although it's raining <laughs> on my walk back to uh, Sean and the dogs at the air which is like literally five minutes over there so um, yeah. Um, yeah, see you later. Got our own personal gardener for our pitch. Don't know if you can hear him. There he is. <laughs> Blowing all the leaves away, look. And look how clean our pitch is now. Blowing all the wet leaves away, or take them all away. So we've got a nice clean pitch. We did offer to move so he could do his job, but he didn't want us to. So he said, close. We took that as meaning close the door. <laughs> so we just did. And now we're having a coffee and Sean's eating his second pastel donata of the day. Well, they need eating. They do, to be fair. They were bought yesterday and forgotten about and they only last a day. So you've got to keep, got to keep on top of the um, the pastel donata eating. Um, but we, you do need the energy because we're going for a long walk in a minute, aren't we? We are, yeah, we're going. So we're going up the valley. I don't know if you can see out the window. 
excuse the crane but we're going for a little wander up the valley and we're going to go and see if we can find a waterfall or a cascade um so yeah so we'll let you know if we do vocal cinema tractor trying to get out of a very tight space <laughs> Ludenviel has a number of hikes which start at the lake. The valley has a free app called Luron Hiking Trail which has information on all the local hikes and biking trails in the area with downloadable maps and information about difficulty. The hikes are marked with yellow signs and have dedicated numbers so it's easy to follow the routes. We headed out on an easy six kilometer hike which took us up the valley. Got past the cows, a little bit scared of them, especially as they're mums and babies. They're staring at me. Anyway, <laughs> we're heading up here now. an eagle or a vulture I'm not entirely sure I need to look it up when I get back huge thing look at that that's got a massive windspan we were treated to magnificent views over the villages and lake. Plus glimpses of a waterfall.
We then looped back down the valley, back into the village. made it back down the hill <laughs> we have we've got our bread we've for got lunch our, yeah it's quite a weighty bread that one it is it's a <laughs> it's a good one yeah it'll fill us up definitely and we're heading back to the van now so we will catch you later good morning from luden vl Today, I'm going to attempt to ride all the way to the top of the peak, which is about 1200 meters of ascent. Uh, and then the route down, the trail down is two. There's a blue and a green. It's about 13K of descent all in all. So it should be a great day if uh, I, my legs can manage it. I've adjusted the bike, so it gives me a little bit more assistance. But as usual, I can't get up in the mornings. So it's 20 past 12. Mad dogs and Englishmen go out in the midday sun. So that's me today. So hopefully I won't die of exhaustion going up there. Um, but we'll see. Hopefully I'll get down in one piece, but you never know. Right, bye. Bye, have fun, don't die. Bye, bye. Bye. <laughs> For review of the mountain biking in Luden VL, head over to our other channel, The Search MTB. The link is in the description box below. We are still in Luden VL. Um, we're actually heading off to Ainsa tomorrow. Yeah. Um, we decided to leave it till Sunday, one, because we've got a load of laundry to do. Um, so we decided to do that in town today. And two, we like it here. It's really cool, isn't it? It is really nice. Our favorite place in the Pyrenees, definitely. So far, anyway, so far, we haven't been yeah. to many. Yeah. Um, but awesome weather. It's like- I know, it's amazing. Yeah. It was so cold this morning. Well, we say it was so cold. It was pretty cold this morning. 13 degrees it was in the van this morning. I reckon it was colder in the van. No, was it was cold out. It was colder oh, outside, okay. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, but since the sun's come out, we've got this amazing like southerly winds that's coming over the mountains from Spain, obviously. And we know that it's a little bit warmer over there 
at the moment, don't we? So yeah, yeah, it's warmer and it's really warm. It's almost like a summer breeze that you get like on the coast when it comes in from the Sahara. It's so warm. It's so cool. But what what's happening is so oh, anyway, so that's really good for our laundry today. So yes. it should dry really quickly. Yeah. Um but yeah, it looks really cool with all the leaves coming off the trees and yeah. the bright blue sky and all of that. This is this is what autumn's about. Yeah. This is, you know, it's like 20 degrees now. I've got shorts, hoodies, getting a little bit too warm for the hoodie, so that's coming off. Shorts and t-shirt. Yeah, and it's what time is it? 20 to 12, so we're gonna have three or four hours in the afternoon. We'll get nice sunshine. We'll get top up our tan, <laughs> dry the laundry, and uh, get prepared for the mountain biking and hiking for next week. Okay, the reason we delayed going to Ainsa was a couple of different reasons. Um, one, like I said, laundry and we like it here, but two, there's actually quite a lot of hunting going on in Ainsa this weekend and Maggie's really scared of the gun noises so we've had a few here but we think it's quite a big thing over in Ainsa this yeah. weekend um, there's lots of zones um, all around the air that we were planning to stay in and the campsites that we might have stayed in so we've decided to leave it until tomorrow to go which will be Sunday um, and hopefully by the time we get there they'll have all packed up and gone home yeah we're going we're going to go straight to a campsite rather than staying in the air in town because the zone is zero so aims have an app that tells you the zones when they do the hunting so it's which is really good so we're going to head off to the campsite and then stay there and then midweek we'll go into the air in Ainsa and then weekends we'll go back to a campsite in the country that's away from all the hunting zones yeah so yeah so next week a bit of mountain biking yeah a bit of hiking yeah and prob probably a tour of Ainsa as well the village which is supposed to be really pretty yeah I think it won an award for yeah voted the prettiest village in Spain yeah so yeah. yeah so we'll show you all that see you soon join us next time when we head through the mountains to Spain <laughs>